What's up, fish tank people? Dustin's Fish Tanks bring it to you on a Tuesday. How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing well. So I want to show you guys uh, four fast-growing plants. But first, I, uh, I want to show you guys the bittersweetness that is uh, doing a spoof on the ShamWow guy. I hate pink gravel, and I'm incorporating it into a video. And I had Josh uh, dump out some stuff, and he got pink gravel uh, all over the ground out here. I made it up. But you want to talk a way to kill Dustin's feng shui quickly, um, pretty easily. You have to uh, have pink gravel all over everywhere. So, yeah, it's no good. I hate pink gravel, and then now I have pink gravel like stuck in the cracks of my whatever. He picked most of it up, but pink gravel sucks, and I can't stand it. And it's funny because I'm doing a spoof, and then I have a spoof, and then the spoof bites me in the rear because I got uh, pink gravel in the mix. So. But whatever, though. What's going on, everybody? You guys doing all right? Everybody having a good Tuesday? I ate too close to this, and I'm a little a little, a little full. What's going on? Anybody going to Reef Palooza this weekend? New York, New Jersey, and Vital Ange? All right, cool. So the pink gravel's going on. I got, four, uh, I got four species of plants to show you guys today. Uh, these are four of what I believe to be the fast, some of the fastest-growing plants that I've got. Now, I'm growing these plants, a lot of them in full sun, so... There are a lot of variables, like they may not grow quite as fast in your tanks, but for me, they're doing uh, quite a bit. I'm gonna show you guys these four plants. Um, two of them are related, one of them's not. Uh, one of them is in my most uh, bulletproof plants video. And then, uh, yeah, I don't know. These are really, they're really fun. And um, I'm excited, ooh, one of them, somebody's already mentioned one of them that I did not uh, put on. So do me a favor, folks, uh, to make sure you get these notifications, hit the notification button. And uh, I will, uh, you'll get notified of these. I'll try to hold the camera up this way so you can't see my uh, incorrect nostrils. But um, got the tripod over there, so hit the notification and uh, you'll see these more often. And yeah, I guess it's time to show you guys uh, four fast growing plants. I do want to show these real quick though. I've got these in here. I didn't know this till I saw Rachel earlier. I didn't watch the video, but I guess these keep mosquitoes away, which is awesome, picture plants. So I'm just gonna dip this bad boy in there and get that going. So there's going, and then I got a Venus flytrap as well. So here, quick four fast, uh, four fast growing plants on a Tuesday with you all. So I got my little setup here. All right, cool. I might even be able to put my butt up here. Yeah, nice. Okay, good. Let me see my crack. No, we're good. All right, so four fast growing plants. Let's do this. Uh, I'm sitting in full sun. Don't know how long this will last, but. Um, I'm going to show this one first because this is one of my most favorite plants that I never sell a lot of for some reason. But it's a Pongeton bovianus and I've talked about it before. Pongetons in general are pretty fast growing and uh, I really enjoy this one. It's from Africa. It's one of the few plants from Africa I don't import that I really wish I could. But I wish you guys could, I hope you guys can see the leaf texture on this. Really, really solid uh, leaves. Like the leaves are just really a crazy texture. So hope you guys can check that out. Oh, Nisi in the house. What's up, girl? Thank you for being on here. So yeah, got the uh, the Pongetons, like I said, from Africa. Now the problem with these plants is they have a dormant period, and um, that that will happen. What I've been told, and I've never done to take them out of the dormant period, is you want to have them in a uh, in a setup that's like you take the bulb out and you let them kind of recharge, so they kind of like burn themselves out, if you will. So that's kind of unfortunate. I've seen them grown in plain gravel. I've seen them grown under high light, low light, uh, and really just a fun plant. The bulb on the end here, you guys can check that out. Uh, I like to plant it about halfway down the bulb, and then these things uh, will send up a, uh, a nice little like uh, runner type thing up to the top, and you'll have little uh, flowers or whatever on the top. So this is a Pongeton bovianus. Totally loving this uh, good, good plant here. And um, what's the bulb plant named? Uh, this is a Ponchon Bovianus, like a like I said, and uh, yeah, it's a fun one, and I really enjoy it. So the crinkly leaves too, and what I like about the fast growth too is it'll send off new growth pretty quickly. I've got these in that upper tank, and it's already sending off some new growth. So that's one to check out for sure, Ponchon uh, Bovianus or whatever. And then I've got another one in here I want to show. It's cousin, and I didn't know about this. My buddy Steve introduced or talked to me about it before, and I never had it. This is a Ponchon. Right here, this is Olvacious. And these come in little bulbs, but they quickly, quickly go. They call them magic bulbs. And uh, Olvacious is a very similar plant to the Aponogeton uh, Bovianus. 
but new growth in the center there really like that a lot and uh, it sends up these leaves actually this might actually grow faster than the bulba anus generally speaking um, some of the plants with like real thinner leaves might have those leaves grow faster and, and quicker than uh, like a thicker leafed one like an Anubius wouldn't grow as fast um, as like a, a Pontaton or whatever but these are fun right here definitely a good one so you can see that they are related obviously check those two out yeah so this one has and this 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 one will grow faster and has like curl it up leaves like they just kind of like they kind of like rotate up so they're pretty cool grows like mad Quentin Moore are you the original Quentin Moore what's up man uh, but when I got tangled before hang on oh we're good it's okay filling up a tank Josh dumped my uh, my ShamWild goldfish out, which was a bummer. What's up, dude? Good to see you, man. I got the members area fixed up, dude. Did you get the invite on that? Check that out. Um, got that all juiced up. Good to see you, Quinn. All right, so then here's another one here. We got Hygrophila deformis, a.k.a. Water Wisteria. Now, I love this plant because when I buy it in, uh, hello from Nova Scotia. Thank you, hello. You're near Joey. Um, this is super duper fast. Uh, how much is for? Ah, uh, like 12, 13 bucks on my site, something like that. Got them on there. Uh, say you saw it on the live stream too, I'll hook you up with a bonus. So here's a wisteria though, Hygrophila deformis, super fast growing. It's starting to get hot because I'm in the full sun and I'm not growing in the full sun, but uh, having a good way to go. Pompano, you saw that guy? That guy in Pompano? I got to get back to that question there. He may be out, maybe out of business, but um. Yeah, so this is a fun one here. Hygrophila deformis, fast growing. Like this plant doubles in size uh, when you get it like in a lot of hot, hot sun, or hot sun, full full bright sun does well. I can see it grow when there's a water change. Oh, that, that air is refreshing. So super duper nice one. Can grow in high light, low light, almost no light. I want you to look closely at the center of that though. See the center of that, how that's going? Wow, Nisi's even linking it up. Look at you, girl. Awesome. Busy work, cool. Good to see you, Quinn. So yeah, this is the fun one. All right, and then, so there is plant number three, and I've got one more to show you. And this one is super fun because it's got the, uh, this is probably my, my favorite like workhorse plant, if you will. We're talking today about hornwort, and I talked about this in the Bulletproof Vance Plants video, but um, this one is awesome. I use this multiple ways so if i have a tank that's real dirty or whatever and i want to have um it cleared up and like this is the biggest sponge it's like a chamois it's like a sponge it's called hornwort baby grows fast uh invasive like it's a problem in some states i don't recall which ones but grows like crazy no roots it is bulletproof they say it's found in siberia i'll link up the video for the bulletproof plants but uh definitely a really fun one here and what I like about this one is that you like throw it, you can breed really great plant for uh, like breeding fish because little fish live in it and can hang on to, uh, little fish can like live in it and then hide in it, be protected in it. But then also these fish can eat the stuff off of it. So that's the, the two, it's a two way street there because they can eat off of this plant and this plant is like a like legit sponge. Now I haven't tested the water, I should. Um, but like I, I, I know like I have currently just just using this plant like if this makes sense just using the shrimp you're using the plants using this plant I have this plant in with um, a 20 gallon full of shrimp I have it in with a bunch of com uh, comments that I'm using for the ShamWow video parody it's coming out at some point the more I, the more I wait the better that video gets by the way and then uh, I am bringing tons of plants to Reaper Palooza Josh and I just had that conversation I've got it in with cherry shrimp, I've got it in with a mono shrimp, like I am a lover fan. So this is my number one fastest growing plant. But you know, I did, you guys liking it? Thanks Duane, appreciate it. Duane, I loved your comments on the, uh, the video about Herbert Axelrod too. I got one more I do want to show though, I got java moss. I'm going five baby, I'm going one more. Hang on, I'll show you some java moss.
guys, this is actually a Fissidens moss right here. But this stuff I have growing in full sun in the new setup. And uh, this is what I'm, I got on the site as well. This stuff is wicked. Uh, anybody that's keeping it bonus plants, five feet, that's right, baby. Fissidens moss. This stuff is growing. I actually pour potassium on this right here. And I totally love the way that it just kind of uh, comes around and just poof, in full sun. The only problem here, thanks, Nisi, linking it up. Yeah, I put you on commission. Uh, if you guys are liking this, can I get a like? Can I get a, you know, subscribe, share, whatever? But um, so this plant, the only issue I had with it, which is funny, I had it with full sunlight and I got too hot and I kind of burn it up a little bit. Now, it quickly recovered when I got the temps under control, but that was one of the things that happened when I was building that new rack. I, uh, I had a problem with the water flow. I didn't have enough water flow in it. So, whatever though, but this is rolling, so I'm do I am loving this. And yeah, that's the wonderful Java fern. It's actually Fissidens moss, a little bit different live video on how you drill your tanks you know I thought about doing that I've actually I got a couple tanks to drill so Steve Vogel do you got some of this moss right brother I think we hooked you up I think we waited to give you some moss I should do a video on drilling tanks it's actually a good idea I got I got a couple tanks I could drill on so yeah that's what I'm doing I'm having a good time anybody like this anybody learn anything can I teach y'all something in the middle of the afternoon I'm getting hot I gotta fly hope you guys did it trim your moss folks Join it late, wish you could rewind. Oh, you can rewind. Cool. You guys enjoying it? Hey, cool. Cool. A couple weeks melted off, nothing. Uh, you missed the beginning of this, my friend. Cool. You guys are all on now. Now everybody's on. Sweet. So let me put these plants back. I'll do a little bit of QA. Hang on. Hot. You got hot. I do want to show this, actually. Let me show you the guys the. Uh, couple of fun plants here too. I'm going to get this moss put back. So the issue that I had, I was talking about, I had too much, uh, not enough water flow going in that system. I've now got that corrected. So I'll show you guys this. I've now got that corrected. You'll be able to rewind later. So I've got that corrected in here, but I have this water flow. And I want to use the larger pipes here. And then I had, uh, no Josh, I'm doing good. Josh, is, Josh got done for the day. Josh is driving to Atlanta to pick up some plants. So yeah, I got these in there. The problem was I didn't have enough water flow. Temperatures rose. So now I got the big outputs here, which is nice. These are too small. I was keeping Anubius in here, but Anubius got, as you can see how I grow the Aponos in full sun here. So a lot of fun there. Full sun upon the time. And then what's nice is I can segment out stuff. Like I've got the Aponos that grow in here. See that's flowing down there. Aponos in there. I've got the swords and the baby swords in here. And then I've got, uh, this is the, here we go. Hygrophila deformis right there growing in a whole fun. So yeah, we're having a good time. So yeah, oh, that's, Ovation's in the wrong spot here. Hang on. So. Yeah, we'll get that over there. This goes over here in this tank. And then I do want to show this, uh, the wonderful Liguigia growing in full sunlight. Only need an inch of dirt. So, you got the notification, cool. Yeah, hit the notifications button. You'll get the notifications. Then I got the, I got this back here too. Oh wow, look at that. I didn't know that was looking that good. This is the, uh, this is the Telant, or excuse me. Wow, look at that. Check out the color on that. How sweet is that? You guys see that? I can't see it in the full sun, so I hope you guys can see that. Look at the top of that right there. It's a mania. Doing well, loving it in the full sunlight. I haven't seen it with that little variegated, variegated on it though. You guys liking that? Isn't that sick? You guys see that? Cool, and then I got one more thing to show you over here. The Cripsporalis grow out tank, which I just planted a bunch of Schwill Cripsporalis in here because it came in all bad and now it's just busting out everywhere. So I wanted, that's a fast grower too. I'm gonna do a separate video on the comparison between the two. Something just fell. So anyway, that's what's up. Got the CO2 rolling over here. Pogo stream on Saladas right there. You guys see that? That's a CO2 plant right there. Wallace, nope, I don't know who that is, but thank you, I guess. So those are pretty sick though, huh? 
All right, folks, so D is got to roll. I am too sweaty. It's too hot to keep going. I'm going to bail on this. I'm going to walk myself in the I'm going to get some Jimmy John's drink. And yeah, anybody coming to Reef Palooza here? Reef Palooza, folks? Yep, wrap this weekend. Got to get it. Going to be there live instead of talking to YouTube comments. Not that I don't mind YouTube comments. Everybody hit the notifications button. Make sure you get that. You like that red, var that red variegated? That was pretty sick. Cool. I'm out, everybody. Full sun. Who'd have thought? Plants like full sun. Tank on, everybody. Later.